Do you ever find yourself performing the same operations, or a specific sequence of events, when you open a file? This could be something such as setting a specific snap mode, changing view attributes, or compressing a design file. A simple and effective way to automate this type of process is through the use of a command script. Why might you do this? The reasons can vary. A possibility is to establish the same settings, look, and feel for a design file in a specific project. Or, you may have a colleague that works a bit differently than you. Their preferred snap mode is multi-snap, while yours is key point. Or maybe this person likes to use multiple view windows, where you predominantly use a single view window. While all of these things could be dealt with individually, it would be tedious and can be prone to errors. You might ask yourself, did I check all of the settings? Did I address all of the potential issues? How can I simplify the way that I do this? The answer could be a script file. The MicroStation Connect Edition features the ability to execute a startup script file through a toggle in the user preferences. A script file allows MicroStation to process a set of commands contained in a simple text document. Here you can see the various commands being issued. Text fields are being updated, view window parameters adjusted, the active snap mode set, and more. Generally, each command to be processed is on a separate line, with related commands separated by semicolons on that line. This can be seen with fit view, where the first command fits the contents of the model to the view, and a second command issues a data point in the designated view window. To make all of this happen, the startup script location and file name must be identified. This is done using a command line argument. You can see a MicroStation shortcut that has been named standardized DGN. If we look at the properties of this shortcut, you can see that it calls the MicroStation executable. In addition to that, a dash S has been appended to the target. The dash S indicates that the file called from within the quotation marks is a startup script file. If we open a DGN file, you can see that it still has multiple view windows open, even though this was addressed in the command script. To make MicroStation process the command script, we also need to enable the preference that controls this behavior. Start by clicking File to open the Backstage view, followed by Settings, User, Preferences, and selecting the Operation category. Under Command Line, enable Execute Startup Script. Click OK and then return to the design canvas. Now, exit MicroStation. Relaunch MicroStation using the modified icon and then open the DGN. As the file is opened, you can see that all of the view windows are closed, view 1 is opened and maximized, the view attributes have been adjusted, and the snap mode set. A save settings has also been performed to save the changes. This can be a useful way to establish the desired settings in the file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.